You're watching Lynn TV. I'm Lucy Robson with this week's main stories. The three main trade unions are meeting with the government to discuss the state's counter proposals to the Troika ahead of a meeting with the delegation on Cyprus's bailout terms. Against Troika recommendations, the government wants to protect civil service salary indexation and the 13th salary, while cutting jobs and wages in the sector over several years. It also plans to raise VAT and clamp down on tax evaders. Cyprus applied for an EU bailout in June. And this week the Cabinet approved a €300 million Euro package to enhance growth and job creation. The package will be funded by a loan from the European Investment Bank and the proceeds from the second licensing round of offshore blocks in Cyprus's exclusive economic gas zone. €100 million Euros will support employment schemes with small to medium-sized enterprises. And this week, the European Commission decided to entrust Cyprus with the installation of a satellite Earth station in order to upgrade capabilities of the European Union in the field of search and rescue. And in Paphos News, a 27-year-old man on the run in the occupied areas of Cyprus was transferred to the Republic for arrest in connection with a murder attempt which left a woman in critical condition. The 38-year-old victim was transferred from Paphos to Nicosia General Hospital with serious head injuries in order to undergo surgery following an alleged attack by her estranged husband. And the authorities are investigating how a 44-metre-tall crane fell on Larnaca Seafront Promenade, killing a woman in a parked car. The woman's husband was injured and five cars in total were damaged. Police, the municipality, the communications ministry and the labour department are investigating the accident. And finally, a Paphos priest performed a blessing at Paphiakos and CCP Animal Welfare Shelter on Sunday, the first of its kind for the charity. The blessing was held for the animals, volunteers, land and staff of the charity. Father Adonis Andoniadis of St. Anahiri Church in Gato Paphos conducted the blessing. Well, that's all for this week's News Roundup. John is again on Monday for a fresh update of local news.